This trip to the Southwest has been exceptional. In an unparalleled night investigation, the team and I had incidents in all four states in the Four Corners area. Afterward, we all stuck around to follow up with the investigations and find the best spot for our final night. While Bobo took to the air, Cliff stayed on in Arizona and found some pretty interesting caves. And I'm out investigating at night, alone, in New Mexico, and I just heard something I can't identify. Whoa, what is that? I'm hearing this almost like... Oh my god! Sometimes it's closer, sometimes it's further away. That's underneath the lake. It's the cracking of the ice. <laughs> that lake is alive. It's almost like there's a giant lake monster trying to push its way up. That mystery is solved. But I haven't heard any squatches, so I'm gonna go howl in the other direction, down into Canyon de Chez. Let's see what I hear down there. I'll be recording. Leonard provided me with some more tracking tips. Yeah, goes along here. You're seeing the trail where it's drugged? Mm-hmm, right in here. But it's hard to utilize these skills if there aren't any animals around. I've gone upriver from Leonard's location into an area full of canyons. If there's anything active in these parts, it's gonna be up in there. Okay, I think I'm gonna use this as my base camp. It's really cold here. One of the coldest Decembers on record. Up on top of these mesas, it's freezing. Any kind of refuge from that cold winds or temperatures is down there in that river canyon, which is also where the water's at. The plan for tonight, look down this gully, because if there is any animals down there, I'm going to see them with a thermal imaging camera. seems like I'm hearing a coyote, something canine that way. That's the only thing that I've heard alive in my time here. Utah, I've given it everything. I've hiked these mesas, I've run these gullies. Screams, whoops, howls, wood knocks. <laughs> Nothing. I had a great investigation here in Arizona, but now it's time to check in with the other team members to see how they did. We've covered a lot of ground, and I'm pretty sure that I have the best location, but I still need to check in with the other team members in case they came up with something better. Bigfoot team, assemble! Cliff, what's happening? Hey, Bubs, what's up? Well, Colorado was a total bust, just dumping snow. I tried to get to that spot with George, it was impossible to get to. We did an overnight, nothing, dude. Everything moves south. Yeah, Utah is beautiful, but right now it is cold. Up on the top here, it's snow. Down below, the river's frozen. It's a bust. I mean, I'm seeing animal sign, but I'm not hearing anything besides coyotes. But the universal theme is it's cold up high and down low at this location. Well, listen, down here in the San Juan River, man, it's freezing down here, too. The river's got ice in it. 
I think there's probably some squatches down in this riverbed, but we'd have to be on kayaks to be able to go among all these islands to find them. All right, man, that pretty much locks it up then. I think I know the spot. I'm in between two canyons at a spot where all sorts of animals are crossing over this plateau, this mesa. And I'll tell you, man, there's a lot of deer here. I'm going to send you the GPS coordinates, and you can all meet me here. OK, I'll see you then. Yeah, I got those coordinates, so I'll see you soon, buddy. Bobo and Renee and I all struck out on our own investigations, but Cliff has found a place that seems to be the best bet right now. So the three of us are going to come together and meet with Cliff there. You weren't kidding, Cliff. This is great. So many more trees than my spot had. Beautiful. Just all the animal tracks we saw just coming from the cars to here. There are a lot of animals walking around this area. The canyon over here meets up with the canyon over there, but there's a trail that comes up, and all the animals seem to go over the top and into the other canyon. It's pretty cool. There are a lot of animals moving through this particular area. We both had great locations habitat-wise. Yours was snowed in. You've got the best spot. And I've got a plan that might uh, utilize the topography and terrain to our advantage. We still have that FLIR that we use, the marine FLIR that bends around and everything. So if we build a blind at a high point and camouflage it, anything moving around here, we're going to be able to see. And if we use our call blaster at the same time, perhaps a Sasquatch will come in and take a closer look. How wide is this mesa? It's about a mile and a half, two miles wide. Well, that's not too bad to work with. I mean, that definitely is going to cover that area. All right, sounds good. For my scouting expedition, this would be probably the best spot to set up this rig right here. The FLIR can see probably about two miles that direction. And it just looks like a giant camouflage pinball machine. Right, yeah, they probably play pinball all the time. I put the sound blaster on the, on the other side of this little tower deal pointing that direction. I'm going to be using rabbit calls tonight because I saw a lot of rabbits around here. I'm thinking that if the Bigfoots are following the deer herds, they're not going to turn away a free rabbit meal. No. Well, we have great visibility here. Okay. Well, I think we got the right spot. I think we have a good plan. OK. Good luck. Nice. Good luck. As much as I enjoyed my time in Utah, Cliff has found the ideal spot for our final night investigation. I think we've come up with a great search technique. Cliff has an ideal location with choke points. That way, we can break into two teams, use a FLIR and the landscape to our advantage. In the past, we've used that FLIR. Also, we've used distress calls from animals. Tonight, we're going to use both of those in combination. Hopefully, that'll do the trick. Yeah. This technology is mind-blowing. Here's the one canyon right here. And here is the opening to that other canyon. Yeah, from what I saw, the deer are basically moving from this canyon over to that canyon. Well, then I'm just going to keep my focus here and here. Yeah, just keep doing the uh, tree line back and back and forth. And hopefully, we get a migration tonight. And hopefully, there's a Bigfoot following the herd. Well, hey, Mr. DJ. Play a song. So that's baby cottontail frenzy. here. Cliff definitely made the right call to come in here. Don't you just have a real good feeling about this? We're in a spot. We're going to do some sounds. Copy. We'll listen. OK. Here we go. Oh, wait a minute. I should tell you. I realize maybe a mistake would make in a long time. I think what's in your mind is important when you do this. If your vibe you're sending out is, I'm trying to find you, I think that's too aggressive. It, you have to have in your mind the emotion of, where are you? I've always been like, I'm going to do it and answer back. But, I'm, but it sounds different when I, I'm thinking just, where are you? And here it goes. I have a different tone. Wow. 
No, I think you guys are too far away. We're not able to hear anything. I can't hear him at all. Yeah, me either.